Have a great day. All right, so the event literally just finished a couple seconds ago and huge shout out to this tweet that I saw earlier that I was talking about. If you're watching the Apple TV app, you can hear via spatial audio on the AirPod Pros or Max, and that was a hell of an experience. But we're here to talk about the new M1 Ultra. Can't wait for all those Samsung jokes. So all the rumors pointed to this new Mac Studio, which ended up being the proper name for this new um, kind of combo with the new display and this new like, kind of fatter Mac mini looking thing. And I think it's what a lot of us like Mac Pro owners feared, but gotta come to expect with how fast technology is improving year over year over year. It's it's just getting bonkers. And when you buy something, you just have to realize that the next year and especially the next year after that, uh, you're just gonna be left in the dust. But it's not necessarily a bad thing. I actually have a video in the works, uh, hopefully in the next couple of days, that's gonna be talking all about why you should upgrade when and kind of just the overall mental gymnastics we all have to play in the tech community. So keep an eye out for that. And so I was going to use some of today's learnings to uh, talk about that, but I really just want to get kind of uh, first impressions out there, uh, especially when they said this M1 Ultra is available to order today. I wanted to see what it was all about. You know, my wife's Mac is completely full. So I can't do my screen record, so insert iPad Pro. Yeah, so here's kind of the new combo. We got the new studio display. It's a 27 inch 5K monitor with a 12 megapixel ultra wide. Uh, it's basically like the top of an iPhone crammed into the top of the monitor. And then the Mac Studio, which is that fatter Mac mini. Now when they were going through the performance sections, it just was hurting my soul more and more because they would compare it against the top of the line 27 inch iMac and uh, the Mac Pro, and one's way more powerful than mine. And this tiny little box was just running circles around it. Now, when they announced the pricing, I was like, okay, that is not actually bad at all. But there's a big difference between the starting price point and the high end, because this was starting price point was uh, 6,000, 5,999, whatever, uh, but maxed out was 50,000. So. Now that we can order this today, let's take a look at what we get. Uh, we're definitely looking at the Ultra, which starts significantly higher. It is nice that it comes in a Max version if you don't need the Ultra, because the Max is already so intense and uh, so much content in the past couple months just about that. Uh, for $2,000 to get 10 core, 24 gig core GP, yeah. All right, so the base one is gonna start at 4,000. For that 4,000, you get a 20 core CPU, 48 core GPU, 64 gigs of essentially RAM, and a one terabyte SSD. Oh, it hurts. All right, so again, this thing was $6,000 for the base. It's been another thousand on a W5700X GPU, which brings my total GPU to 24, exactly half still. So that's 7,000. Spend another like 650 on RAM to get to 160. So I, I have more RAM and a one terabyte SSD. At least Apple has come to their senses. This thing came with 256 gig in 2019, 256. So at least it has that going for it. So one terabyte is absolutely what the starting uh, storage should be. And then you get two Thunderbolt 4 ports, one SDXC slot uh, on the front, on the back, you got four more Thunderbolts. So that's two Thunderbolt 4 ports, two USB-A, one HDMI, one 10 gig ethernet, three and a half. So I definitely beat it in port. Wait, do I beat it in ports? Six Thunderbolt ports. Two, two, okay, I have eight. So I have two more Thunderbolt ports. I also have two USB A's, two HDMI ports, two ethernet ports, and three and a half millimeters. So ha, score one for my Mac Pro. It's got more ports. Don't talk to me about docks or dongles. All right, let's see how we can up this though. So for an extra thousand bucks, that's the only other difference is you the same 20 core CPU, but now you have 68, 64 gig GPU. You can go up to 128 gigs unified memory. 800 bucks. Normally Apple's pricing for RAM is ridiculous. This very specific type of RAM, it's not your normal off the shelf. That's not terrible, I don't think. 
Ah, oh, and that SSD storage isn't bad price. Apple, what are you doing? You're pricing things more fairly now. Less than two years old. So for under $8,000, you can completely max out this Mac Studio and it will absolutely run circles around. This one was, I guess, with everything in it. Well, actually a video coming up, everything in it now is around 13 or 14. Anyone want to buy a Mac Pro? <laughs> So let's check out the display here. And this is essentially a cheaper option than their uh, Pro Display XDR, which is like $6,000 by itself. This is starting at $1599, which is great. I mean, I have the LG uh, Ultrafine 5K and that one, is it the same price? I wanna say it was, I wanna say it was $1499. So like a hundred bucks less. So this one coming from Apple, Definitely a better speaker system with spatial audio. And then I definitely would go the nano texture glass. I hate reflections and glare. So all for that, that's an extra 300 bucks. And then you have three mounting options. You have a tilt adjustable stand, tilt and height adjustable stand, or a vase amount. You know what, we're, we're balling out here. I'm not actually buying this right now. So tilt and height adjustable stand it is, $22.99. For the people who need it, that is not bad for a monitor. All right, so for an absolute maxed out Mac Studio and a maxed out studio display, 10.2 with tax, just over 11,000 here. Again, this isn't your average computer price point. Oh, and I'm completely blowing over the fact that right at the tail end of the events, they're just like, oh yeah, these are our new computers and it's awesome, but we still have to talk about Mac Pro. Oh wait, but that is for another day. There's more performance. Here's the thing that I'm hoping for. Here's my wish with that huge tease at the end with Mac Pro. Apple refreshes the outer shells of their devices every couple of years, but for their Pro computer, whatever the Mac Pro is, the G4 tower, the trash can, all that stuff usually lasts for five to seven-ish years. This just came out in 2019. And even with how insane this is and how it outperforms this, I can't imagine them going back to the kind of trash can mistake where they take away the customizability from uh, the Mac Pro users. Everyone, everyone loved this redesign because you can replace and upgrade damn near everything in this. Again, video coming very soon on a really cool upgrade I just got for it. So my hope is that the tease for the Mac Pro isn't a whole new Mac Pro, but a upgrade module for this existing chassis. To me, that is Apple's smartest move is find a way to take the people who spent way more than I did, those 50,000, 30 to $50,000 Mac Pro machines out there less than two years ago, give them something and give all of us something. I understand the hefty price tag will probably come with maybe a couple thousand dollars just for the uh, M1 Ultra processor, but if they can figure out how to get that as a upgrade module for these computers, and to swap out the CPU or GPU or logic board. I don't, well, you'd have the unified memory and the GPU would be internal. I don't know how do you do that. I have no idea if that's even physically possible, but that's what I'm hoping for. These, This is all literally my raw feelings. I thought I, this wasn't like a fake thing. Like I took off the headphones and like reenacted the event that I watched a couple hours ago. When you saw me take off the headphones, I was waving goodbye to Tim and, and that was that. So yeah, uh, let me know down in the comments below. Are you guys ordering this machine? Have you already ordered it? Uh, what are you upgrading from? Any other Mac Pro users out there kind of crying but still hopeful at the same time for what the future may hold for us? I would love to hear what your guys' thoughts. And if you don't want to miss out on any future videos regarding Mac Pro upgrades, camera stuff, tech, or just anything else I feel like creating and uploading, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It helps me out a lot. We are getting so close to that 50k mark. Appreciate all of you. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.